Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Open up the MIDI utility right here and go into network. You can see that I have a Karma 1 is the session that I created. Just hit the little plus mark, you make a create a session. And I just make sure that this is all the same. I change my port number to 5005, make sure the port matches, and then this is in there. Now look at this. On my keyboard, I made sure that my routings here are going back and forth. Because what it really matters is what you want is you want your keyboard going this direction. You could have it go back out, but I didn't really care about that part. It's there is this is probably the most upsetting, messed up piece of crap utility that I've ever messed with. It used to work really cool in lower versions like Mavericks and Snow Leopard. But since the release of El Capitan, they have really screwed things up. And you'll notice that my interface is a little bit different than a normal El Capitan MIDI Studio interface or this thing. This is a little side tip here the utilities window here and I'll show you what I did. You'll see in here I actually have two audio MIDI setup programs. This one is the normal one, the one that just doesn't work with the crap and it's from standard install from El Capitan and it's what happens is when you try to use the network and you go in there and you make a change and you close it out the whole program will crash and it won't save those changes and so it basically renders your networking over midi useless so in order to fix it i had to hack it to fix it what the f what the f you know it's just it boggles my mind. You know, uh, Apple pays these engineers to design software and and I have to hack it up to fix their mess. Eh, go figure. So, how I did it is I copied over, it's a really simple fix too, copied over from, I actually have an older hard drive that I had Mavericks installed on and I just went in to the applications and found the audio that utility from a Mavericks install and I just copied it over here. Now it's not going to let you replace it because the, the core files are protected, but it did let me copy it in here and I just changed the name to setup2. And then when I want to change my network settings, I just open this guy up and double click on open it up. There it is. And it opens up right here and opens. it looks like this. I'm not going to open up the other one because it'll crash my whole system. You just double click on this and you're able to save your set system settings and it works fine. And it actually picks up your preferences from the, if you did some changes in the other MIDI utility. So that being said, what a cluster F, you know, I mean, geez, it, it took me a while to figure it out that, wow, El Capitan just sucks, but I can't use logic the newest and latest greatest of logic, unless I have El Capitan. So I'm held hostage by the system of Apple. I hate, I hate Apple. I really do. I, I just, I, I mean, I like logic. I mean, I, I've been a fan of logic when they first came out on PC. And then Apple bought them out. So forced to use Apple. You know, you ever notice that when I know this is sidetrack here, but you ever go to like the Apple forums on like different 
things like you have a question or you search something, uh, performance issues or something, and you go on there and you see these Apple people that are helping, you know, moderators or something. Supposedly, and they have like these point values, and they're supposedly really good. They're, you know, they're assholes. They're just assholes. You go on there, and you ask a question, and they uh, suddenly uh, just assume that you're that you're wrong for asking the question. And and they give this attitude like, here, just read the read the manual attitude. You know, you didn't do enough research, and you're just stupid. Apple forum people. I'm telling you, man. Uh, anyways, moving on. So as we are got this part fixed. Oh my gosh! Yeah, uh, it enables me to interface with RTP MIDI, and you can see it. It comes up here. And I have other videos I'll link in here about how to set up RT, RTP MIDI and how that works. But right now, this is more of, I just wanted to show you this part and how I have it connected into this computer. This is a Windows 7 laptop that I have next to my thing over here. And in that laptop, I have this program running because this is a Windows only program. So I've done this mishmash of networking and MIDI and all that, so that way I can have control my keyboard right here from the computer. I hope this helps someone out there. Please subscribe, give me a like, more of this networking kind of stuff with music. And if you have any questions, concerns, drop me a comment. I'll usually respond back within the hour or so. Remember my friends, big groovy.